This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Yeah, there's certainly, uh, you know, the trainers are going to make more money, of course, because I, I can't remember how that incentive package is, is set up. But you do, of course, earn extra money for being a trainer. I, I just don't have that information right at my fingertips as far as how much more you would make as a trainer. But I know that they welcome back drivers to the recruiter call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Hogan. But we're going to be talking about the Dollar General account out of Zanesville, Ohio. If you're in the Zanesville or Columbus area, the Dollar General account out of Zanesville, Ohio, just might be for you. The information that I'm going to give you is going to be generally for Hogan as a whole, but it can spill over to the dollar accounts. Hogan, they offer 74 cent to 78 cent CPM. But hold up, the Dollar General account is 61 cent per mile. And I believe it's just for that account. The 74 to 78 cent per mile is probably over the road. Of course, you can generate about 90 to 100K with Hogan. The Dollar General account is a $75 sign on incentive, while Hogan as a whole. You can get up to 10K for a sign-on bonus. This will be home weekly. You can get home weekly either or. Mileage pay increase for Hogan as a whole is six months. You will have a guarantee pay, and that's on the Hogan as a whole side. Steady freight late model trucks which is internationals from what i have seen so far you would get vacation and holiday pay you would get the full benefits and they also have a driver referral program if you guys are interested to know more about what hogan has to offer in particularly the dollar general account out of zanesville ohio stay tuned Hey, good morning. How you doing, man? Um, I'm over here at good. the I'm I'm over here at the Dollar General over here in Zanesville, Ohio. And of of course mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of Hogan trucks uh up through here. Right. I just want to get a little more, more mm -hmm. information about the about the Dollar General account if I can. Okay. Sure thing. Um well, it, it is based there out of Zanesville, and uh, I believe they are hiring. Um, there's two sides of it, the dry and the reefer side. Um, the Do you have a preference as far as that goes? Uh, do they pay the same? Do they, do, do they pay more? What's, 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 let's start off with the, the, what's, what's the they pay. They pay the same, but the dry side makes a little bit more. So, with two years of experience, you would start at $0.61 cents a mile, get paid $25 per stop, plus $120 every time that you finish unloading the trailer, and that works out to somewhere between eighty five and 95000 per year. However, I will tell you that I do know of some drivers that are actually over 100000 a year on that account. I just talked to one yesterday. Let me start by asking, uh, do you guys accept uh, SAP drivers? We, we can consider you, but only after that is five years old or older. So you're not able to help anybody that's in the return to duty status? Not until it's at least five years. Uh, you mentioned okay. about two years of experience to do this. Uh, what about pre-employment drug screening? Pre-employment, yeah, we do. We do a pre-employment drug screen. In fact, it's your analysis right now, but after the first of the year, we're actually going to add the hair follicle as well. FMCSA is about to consider hair follicle, or is that just something in-house that you guys decided to do? No, it's just do. a company policy. Yeah, it's a company policy. Do we do other accounts like Family Dollar, 
uh, Dollar Tree or is it just Dollar General in, in particular? We do. We have all kinds of accounts, including Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. But in the Zanesville, Ohio area, there's there's not a Dollar Tree or Family Dollar account open. We've got some Target in West Jefferson that shows open, a Cardinal Health Care position, uh, C.H. Robinson, which is an over-the-road position. Those are the ones that we show available in the Columbus, Ohio area. As far as Dollar General, this this will be driver unload, right? I, I would have to unload all the freight. Let me ask you this question because I watch yes, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and some of those unloads is pretty ugly. But I was kind of curious. Um, can we have a rider? Like, let's say if I want to bring my my one of my family member along. Is it possible that I can bring a family member to help me out with, with the unload? Is that possible? That's a good question. I've never had that question. That particular, We do have a rider program, but I don't believe that, that they're allowed to help. I, I'm not 100% sure on that because there would be so much liability involved in that, you know, if they were injured or something like that. Oh, okay, because I was just kind of wondering, and I, like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube videos on these dollar accounts, and it's some of them is uh, not uh, particularly ugly. It's a challenging job for sure, yeah. Yes, yes, very much so. Um, how are the miles calculated? You you mentioned that it's 61 cent uh, per mile, but how are the miles calculated? Is zip to zip or is it practical? Um, it... <sighs> On this account, I can't can't recall exactly. I think it is um, I think it is practical miles on this account. Some of ours are zip code, a household movers guide. Yeah. How will we get our um, assignment? And wonder why I'm asking that because a lot of drivers in my Facebook group are getting their assignments through their cell phones. And I, and if that's the case, if we are getting our assignments through our cell phones. Are we reimbursed for cell phone usage, cell phone conversation? No, it, your load assignments will uh, come through your Qualcomm, not through your cell phone. I mean, you might be able to access them as well through your cell phone, but um, no, there is no cell phone reimbursement on this account. Okay, okay. But I mean, virtually everybody has one, you know what I mean? Right, exactly, exactly. Um. And this, I out of the Zanesville area, what, what, um, where would I be covering? Like what area? Mm -hmm. Okay, basically it's the it's the state of Ohio, and then a little bit of West Virginia and a little bit of uh, Pennsylvania. That's the region that it covers, and just a tiny piece of northern Kentucky as well. Is this a uh, home? Weekly, home, daily. How how often would I get home? We advertise it as home weekly, so you're going to get at least a 34 to 48 hour reset position as close to the weekend as possible. But of course, the drivers that live the closest to Zanesville, <clears throat> sometimes and quite often, they do experience some midweek home time as well. Yeah, like I said, I'm 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 here at the Dollar General. <laughs> Oh, okay. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here at the Dollar General. I, I, I drive for a different company, but I'm here delivering mm -hmm. at the Dollar General. And what made, again, what sure. made me call you guys and make me interested because I see a lot of, a lot of Hogan trucks over here, and I'm assuming that this is like one of y'all major accounts. So that's what made me it uh, is. get into it. Uh, the trucks uh, I'll be driving looks like they're internationals. What what uh what are they governing at, and do they come with uh cameras? They're governed at sixty five, and yes, they do have cameras, including driver facing. Uh, is is it possible that I could become a trainer with you guys on this account? And if so, is the pay different? Is would there be additional pay for that or no? Yeah, there's certainly, uh, you know, the trainers are going to make more money, of course, because I, I can't remember how that incentive package is, is set up, 
but you do, of course, earn extra money for being a trainer. I, I just don't have that information right at my fingertips as far as how much more you would make as a trainer. But I know that they do make, the, they're the highest paid uh, drivers that we've got. Now, we have had to put <clears throat> our training um, program on hold for right now. Um, we're not actually hiring any students uh, out of school because we're so full as a company that we don't need to hire students. So we're just focused on experienced drivers at this time, but we may bring back the student program later. I'm, I'm beginning to hear a lot of that in my Facebook group that drivers that's coming out of, mm -hmm. out of CDL school, they, they're finding it hard to come on with a starter company such as you guys. Uh, yes. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, do you very guys, difficult right now. Do you guys have your own uh, uh, CDL uh, sponsor schooling or no? We work with MTC um, as far as sponsoring students, but um, it's very, very limited right now, I, I, almost down to nothing. But we, we have. In fact, I used to be a student recruiter. And then we've got another school in Missouri that we work with, but that again has just about dried up because we're at 96% full capacity. So we're having trouble finding positions to put experienced drivers. So of course we don't, we're just not bringing on any students right now. I, I appreciate your honesty on that. Uh, what about benefits mm -hmm. and when do they start? Well, we have a full benefits package. It starts uh, between 30 and 60 days. It's uh, medical, dental, vision, life insurance, 401k, and paid holidays and paid vacations. Do you guys uh, have team opportunities with the Dollar General account or team opportunities other than that? If Let's say I do the Dollar General. Let's say I don't, I don't like it yeah. and I want to get a team driver to, to go over the road with me. Is that possible? Yeah, but not on the Dollar General account. It's not really set up to do teams. Um, but we do have that Cardinal Healthcare is one that we have that is a team position. And there's some Target West Jefferson positions that are team positions. So, yeah, you can team up, just not on the Dollar General account. Do you guys have a sign-on bonus for, for this account? Yes, we do. Um, let's see. Um, I had that pulled up just a second ago. It's seventy-five hundred dollars, and that's paid a thousand dollars after the first month, and then a thousand dollars a month after that. Hey, I I really do appreciate you taking the time out, uh, going over uh, what you guys offer over here. Um, I will go ahead and uh, do some more research and everything, but I was just curious of what you guys had to offer because I've seen all of the Hogan trucks over here. So thank you very much. Let's get into it. Hogan, everybody. The Dollar General account out of Zanesville, Ohio. If you guys are in the Zanesville area or the Columbus area, or if you are in the Columbus area, and Dollar General isn't an account that you would like to jump on. They do have other accounts available in the greater Columbus area. Let's talk about Dollar General, though. I'm here at the Dollar General here in Zanesville, Ohio. I am, I am at their D.C. And I see the Hogan Terminal in the same vicinity as the Dollar General DC here in Zanesville, Ohio. What you can expect, of course, as with any other dollar account that I have talked about on this channel, it is driver unload. Everything is unloaded by the driver. Everything is touched by the driver. You will do multiple stops. You would get paid for those multiple stops. He said about $25 per stop and $150 per trailer. Now, some of them trailers are 
four, three to four loads, meaning that you'll have three to four stores to go to. Now, let me break it down for you. Some of the newer Dollar Generals that's popping up around the world now, those are some nice Dollar General places. It's also nice to know that it is built with the truck driver in mind. So those new dollar stores is popping up that's in rural areas. You'll be able, you'll be easy to get in, back up, and unload. You're going to have problems in more of an urban setting. You're going to have problems because some of the dollar stores that's in the urban setting is in little strip malls, in areas where you have to drive around the parking lot, in areas that you got to back in from the street, in areas that you're going to be in some sketchy areas where you get out of the truck you will have to literally lock the door and probably have a little bit of personal protection on you i'm just saying i'm not scaring you but i'm just saying uh as far as your backing i'm just gonna have to tell you the dollar account is not for the faint of heart and better yet it's not it's not even good for a rookie i i would suggest uh, a person with at least some good amount of backing skills to take on the dollar accounts because as a rookie you you you're gonna struggle bro you're gonna struggle uh to come in it is two years of experience to come in and that's what they're looking for as the young man said in the conversation they're not bringing on new cdl drivers because they are nine they're about 90 to 98 percent at full capacity so they don't need to bring in brand new cdl drivers as they used to in the past now they're looking for more experienced drivers which is a lot of them popping up because of other companies shutting down so yeah i mean sorry rookies probably next year will probably be a little bit better for you guys but as of right now, these mega carriers, these uh, starter companies, they're scaling back on bringing on new drivers. But back to being a rookie for this job, and it's really not for the faint of heart. Um, you're going to have some tough ingress and egress, especially when it comes to backing situations. You're going to encounter a lot of these Dollar General stores, especially in the urban setting that they was not designed to handle a 75 foot tra tractor trailer i'm just saying i'm just saying the times when you get there you're going to be blindsiding you're going to be backing off the streets you're going to be backing in crazy parking lots and when it snows it's it's just the worst because some of these strip malls they they don't even they don't even plow their parking lots to make it to, to try to make it even better for you guys when you back up to a door not a dock not a dock you'll be backing up to a door okay and then you'll set up the the little uh the little setup that they got and and you'll be back there just tossing stuff off the off the back of the truck so if you're really not proficient in your backing skills, I, I was I would suggest to back off of the dollar uh, general account. But but if you are interested in the dollar general account, he did say that some of their drivers make an upwards of a hundred k a year. Some of them is good, some of them is bad. For me, I'm not too much interested in the dollar general account i'm just here to pass on the information to you guys also before we get on up out of here he did mention starting next year they are going to do hair follicle uh drug analysis testing on new drivers so if you want to get in with with hogan right now before the new year try to hurry up and get in with them while they're still doing 
the urine analysis test. Hogan Dollar General account out of Zanesville, Ohio. Drivers, you drive for Hogan's Dollar General account. Let us know of your experience in the comments below. Are you making money with them? Are you not making money with them? Is it a tough job? Tell us some horror stories of uh, places that you went to in the comments below. If you'd like to come on and share your story, you can do that. You can hit us up in the Gmail at lockoutmenpodcastguest at gmail.com. If you guys would like to get your suggestions in for the next MTC review, you can do that one of three ways. One way, of course, is the Gmail, lockoutmenpodcastguest at gmail.com, or just leave it in the comment section. Or if you'd like to support the cause, you can do that by the cash app, dollar sign, lockoutmen. Let us know in the notes who you would like for us to review, and you will receive a shout out for that coffee. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Next, 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 next.